Repeat after me. Today, when I watch this show, I will learn, develop, and gain inspiration for the rest of my peers and most importantly, myself. Today, I will gain inspiration to leave every bit of it behind me for those who need it more than ever. Please enjoy the show and gain inspiration. Thank you. Happy Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Today's dialogue is going to be based on what is deviling you today. The mean of this dialogue of the topic is based on certain religions that are like convincing their peers, families, or anybody in their path that certain things they're wearing, certain things they're doing, certain things they're listening to, or certain things they're watching is Satanistic or saying that they're Satanistic for doing or saying certain things. My belief is this, okay? I, before I begin this, I am not judging no religion whatsoever. Every religion has a different belief, but the one thing religions have in common is that they're very similar to one another because they have a belief in something. Now, when I take a look at it, each religion individually, it's like this. Each religion individually has this thing where they have a belief on what they read in their Bibles, like the Quran for, for Allah, the Holy Bible for God or Jesus. You know what I mean? It's like that. So I mean, when I, I've read most of them, because honestly, I find every religion interesting in its own way. I mean, my choice of religion, I chose to be an Anglican. That was my religion I chose to be, because my gut feeling told me that being an Anglican was something that would be great and something that is joyful for God. And I know that because my everything told me to become an Anglican, so I'm an Anglican. But the only thing I don't like, okay, the only thing I think is disrespectful is I think some religions need to stop forcing their peers or forcing other people into Christ or the Allah. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that you should not guide somebody to do the right thing, you know, for Christ or God or anything. I'm not saying you should not be trying to guide them. But when you are forcing them, your kids, you know, saying, trying to convince them all day and night that you can't do this because the Lord doesn't like this or the Lord doesn't like that. Or you can't listen to this because it's Satanistic and the Lord won't like this. Now, here is the part that bothers me, is that you may read in the Bible, you may read what you hear in the Bible, and you may listen to what your pastor says to you, but let me ask you a question. God and every individual is different than another. How do you not know if God doesn't like this or that, okay? And how do you not know if I am a devil worshiper or not? Like, personally, I'm not, okay? Let me just say this for a good example. Some people, and I have a friend who was judged, a guy who is judged. And I want to show you a picture of this guy in a few minutes. His name is Johnny Jimmy Jacob Stana. Because he he believes in God, but he wears these this sort of this wardrobe that may not seem like it in most religions' eyes. He's got black long hair, he's got makeup on his face, he wears sometimes his cape, this black long cape, and he wears these black boots. And he he does his devil laugh sometimes but i talk to this guy all the time and he believes in the lord a lot he believes in god he's not a devil worshiper he only does this stuff because he is who he is and he just wants to be who he wants to be just because he believes in the lord doesn't mean he has to you know wear these suits wear these exotic clothes all the time he just wants to be himself as the lord created him you know what? I agree with that, okay? As long as you can believe in the Lord, I think you can be able to do what you need to do to live life to the fullest and still 
show God you appreciate the way He made you. I mean, I don't understand one thing. Most religions will argue with you about that. And they will too, and it's very true. If I said to a person that was religious, and he, I mean, he was a Bible thumping type, and if I said to that person, I said, you know, you should try and have fun with your life. You should be able to use the resources that Earth has to offer that God put on the Earth. If I said that, you know what that person would probably say back? He would say, oh no, the Lord is very true. The Lord is number one. He's right, the Lord is number one. But why can't you use the resources God put on this earth that is meant for fun? You know, let me tell you something. When I hear some people say who are bi-religious, they will say that, oh, if that person's wearing that hat sometimes, or wear this devil mask, oh boy, that's, that's, that's against Christ or whatnot, because it says this in the Bible or whatever. Well, let me just say this. I told you guys that I believe in the Lord, right? I'm an Anglican, which is true. So let's just say this. Let's just say in one of the Bibles, someone said that wearing a piece of paper on my head was against Christ. So let me put this on my head. So, I told you guys that I am an Anglican, and I love Christ, of course, but just because I wore this on my head, that means I am going against Christ. Is that actually what it means? Because let me tell you something, if that's what it means in your eyes, you guys need to think and read that Bible all over again. Because you know what? Being judgmental is not what you're supposed to be. The only people that are supposed to be judging is God God and God. That is it. Not you, not the pastor, not the Pope, not the priest. Only God. And not me. Okay? You need to remember one thing. Just because something says in every Bible, you can't expect a person to be guided to just one religion. You need to remember, we have all kinds of religions in this community. We got... The Christians, the Anglicans, the Olive communities, the Muslims, we got all kinds. The Baptist. So, how can you or anybody else tell someone, oh, you have to go to Christ. You need to do this. You need to do that. Okay? Let me just say this to you. Believing in Christ or believing in any religion is not just something to snap just like that. Believing in any religion takes commitments, takes loyalty, takes honesty, takes integrity. It takes a big commitment. And if you can't make that commitment, there's no point in joining a religion unless you can really make that commitment to yourself and the Lord. Okay? What I'm trying to tell you is that just because someone listens to certain music, just because someone says certain things, just because someone acts or dresses a certain way, does that mean that they are Satanistic? You need to realize that. Okay? Because I should be saying this to you guys too. You guys like to judge other people. I should say this to all you religious communities also. You guys like to say that, oh, you can't enjoy life. You shouldn't be just going out and having fun. You should be committed to the Lord or you need to be guided to Christ. You need to be with Christ. Well, let me ask you a question. How do you not know if they don't love Christ? but they just don't do it the exact same way as you do, okay? The one problem is you guys are judgmental, and I don't like it. Most of you guys are judgmental, and I am not lying to you here, okay? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go through another example. I'm going to show you Jacob Stana's picture. Let's go to Jacob Stana's picture. This is Jacob Stana, the guy that I was talking about a few minutes ago in the episode. This guy is the guy I'm talking about who dresses up in the crazy makeup, wears the crazy wardrobe, and has the look and acts sort of like what others, others I should say, would think that he's a Satanistic. But this guy does believe in God, and he loves his family and everybody he knows very much. That's Jacob Stana, the funny guy. There, I just explained to you about Jacob Stana. I just explained, I just explained him to you guys. Do you understand what I am saying now? Okay? And now, let me send you to another few pictures of the examples I just explained earlier on how people look, say, and do things. Get to it. Example number one. 
Edward Cullen from the movie Twilight. Now, I don't know what this picture means, but these two look similar. Does that make him devilish? Or how about this pic with a woman dressed in this gold thing and the two people dressed like monkeys? This is a part of Halloween too. Does this make them worship Satan? I don't think so. How about these two guys drinking a beer and dressed up like exterminators? Or maybe they are exterminators, but no matter, no matter what, look the weird thing on their head. Now guys, does that make them freaking worshippers? There you go. There you go. Right there is what I proved right there. Some people may worship Satan, but maybe most don't. And they just don't do everything exactly the way you guys do it. Do you understand what I'm saying, people? Do you understand what I'm saying, religious communities? Don't get me wrong, I don't disrespect you, any of you, whatsoever. I really don't disrespect any of you whatsoever. I respect you because I know you guys are trying to make a good purpose for your community and your religion. But listen, do you know what it's called when you guys are say, are accusing somebody of doing something or accusing someone of something that they're not? You're classifying them. You know, you're. it's a genocide when you do something like that. That is a genocide. Okay, let me give you an example on that too. Let me give you an example of a genocide. A genocide. You, a, let's just say a pair of Russian soldiers went and they killed Ukrainian soldiers. That would be, and other people would probably say it's communism. Okay? They think any Russian who kills somebody is communism. And it's true. I even learned this in my own courses. It's just like this. Religious religions who guide and freaking judge other people, that is a genocide. Because you know what? Every religion is different than the other. And if you, no one can realize that, then you guys should really take a look at the religion you're in and you guys should really study it on your own. Because if you are not going to be committed to your religion properly and you're going to keep forcing people to be guided to Christ or keep forcing people to be guided to Allah, you know, you're not being a very good example for yourself. Okay? Anyways. I gotta get going now. I hope Real Talk gave you an ins inspired today. I hope it gave you an inspiration. Thank you. Take care. Please remember what I said. And another thing, just to tell you, as I put in my last video, the last ad I put in my video, if you want to send any donations to the Sick Kids Foundation to help kids with bad diseases that don't have an opportunity to live much longer and you know that the money you send can actually help them please don't have an issue and please donate to sick kids at www.sickkids.ca okay the kids really need it thank you have a good day take care quote of the day let's all get along with one another so we can be dangerous together did real talk inspire you today well, everybody, if it inspires you and you have a problem that you have at home or anywhere at all that you need help dealing with, please, everybody, do not have an issue with the please. If you want to call me directly to let me know your problem and I can give you some help with it, please give me a call at my number right here where it says 647-741-0621. Or if you'd rather email it to me because you'd rather do it by the technical social media way, please email me at gpbes austin bullock at outlook.com, okay? Now, anytime you have a problem, please don't forget to email me or call me. Thank you guys. Have a great day, and see y'all next week for Real Talk. Bye.